Hey guys, it's Jed from DieselCrew.com. I just got done dropping my daughter off at the babysitter, so I thought I'd make a quick video on my way back and give you a little update. Uh, the last few weeks, I've been working real hard on a couple of projects. The first one was <clears throat> uh, Call to Arms, and it's an arm training ebook that I did with Joe Meglio. Um, and what we did is we just talked about ways to go beyond just the normal stuff that you'll see in a gym for your arm training. All these mindless reps, extremely high volume. And what what we did is try to get away from that and build not only arm size but also strength, like increasing the arms, uh, arm size and strength at the same time. Because it doesn't really make any sense to have you know the big pu puffy muscles without some strength to go along with it. So that's what we put together. The other thing which I just released this week is Fix My Elbow Pain, which is uh, a program that I did with Rick Cassell. So now if you've been around for a while, Rick and I put out a program last year called Fixing Elbow Pain. Helped a lot of people so far, continues to help people. So we've been getting requests ever since releasing that about wrist pain. So hey, I, I know what it's like. I've had wrist pain too. Um, I've had wrist pain so bad that I couldn't rotate my my hand right. Um, a lot of the wrist pain that I've had has come be from from just not training properly, like not warming up, not ramping up, you know, trying to go balls to the walls immediately upon learning of a new feat of strength or something like that. And when you do that, you can get good really quick. But the thing is, you usually end up paying the price of pain. And that's no fun. So, what Rick and I did this time is Rick, it's kind of like what we did with with uh, the elbow pain. Rick took the rehab portion. So, that's his strength because he does that stuff all the time. He's, he's like a, a professional therapist. He works with all kinds of people, thousands of people over the years. He's done that. That's his career. So, he took the rehab portion. What I've done is the prehab because... The, the silver lining of having so many injuries over the years is that now I know what to do in order to keep them away. So I kind of mapped out all of my preventive strategies that I could think of, everything for the wrist, warm-up, stretching, mobility, strengthening. And, and uh, speaking of mobility, there's a lot of things that you may need to do elsewhere in your body in order to correct situations that are causing pain for your wrist. It might not be a tight wrist or an immobile wrist. It may be something that's going on in your back, like your upper back thoracic area, your shoulder. It could be very, very tight. And what happens is the wrist is generally the point where the pain gets accentuated because the pain goes to the weakest point and hurts that joint a lot of times. So. I, I talked about that as well. Just simple stuff that you can do in your in your routine every day. That's that's only going to take a few minutes, and and I think it's going to be very helpful. Like I said, we we stuck with our specialties. My specialty is prevention and strengthening. Rick's specialty is identifying what the issue is and then rehabbing it. So if you've had wrist pain, it's certainly something that you should check out. The other thing that I began working on um, about halfway through the project was I created this document full of exercise workarounds. So a workaround is, <clears throat> it, it's, it's, a, it's a word I picked up when I worked at the beef plant that I was a part of for so many years. I worked in safety and um, you know sometimes if someone's not at work or if there's a, you know, a damaged piece of equipment or something like that, something's not working properly, then you can put in a workaround, which is, uh, you know, a different part of the process that helps you continue to complete the work and do so safely. So, what I did is I borrowed that term from the beef industry, and I've applied it to lifting because. It's just like it's just like when someone calls off work or something breaks down. 
when your wrist hurts, you can still get plenty of work done. You can still get plenty of good quality training in when you have wrist pain. So what I've done is I've showed you ways to modify exercises so that you can still get the results without putting the beating on your wrist. And then also sometimes, you know, there's small modifications, sometimes they're bigger modifications. But um, I think this is going to help a lot of people. You know, there are things that either I developed on my own or someone else showed them to me. So I've put them all together, I've compiled them, given credit where it's due, and I know that these these workarounds have helped me out tremendously in the past when certain exercises have bothered my wrists. Remember, it's not always an injury. You don't always have a condition going on in your wrist. Sometimes it's the fact that something else is tight in your body, something else is immobile, and it's causing problems down the kinetic chain. So these are things that you can do to help yourself out, get back to pain-free workouts, and you know enjoy your training again so if if you have wrist pain make sure to check out the link below this this video and then also if you're looking to do some specializing on your arm training check out call to arms again in a link below this video all right thanks a lot everybody looking forward to put up more videos now that these two projects are done the deadlines were very very close together so um, I really haven't put too much uh, new stuff up, but, but I will be able to do that now. So make sure you subscribe. I'll have plenty more videos coming your way. All the best in your training. Take care.